Hello, this is Tim Stack and welcome to this set of tutorials. These tutorials are created to help the eMed teachers create video podcasts. So if you're watching this on YouTube, um, some of the things might not apply exactly to you, but you're, you're free to watch them if you l would like. Um, so we've been working on this project. Um, we've we started a or we didn't even, we didn't start we completed um, sort of a sample video podcast here in iMovie and we use video from the document camera. Um, what I'd like to add to the project is video captured using a flip video camera um, because these EMAD teachers will have a new flip camera. So um, you can kind of see what we've got going so far. Uh, we've got some titles uh, in over at the first here. Um, has the, has some little background music playing there, a little intro music. That's that green bar that says East Ender. Um, then I've got a still picture in here that I did a voiceover um, on top of there, uh, sort of the content. And then I did bring in some video over here, some video from a document camera that the teachers will have as well. I did a voiceover um, explaining that as well. And then there's a um, title here at the end. Um, and a little music to end with. Now I've decided that I wanted to include some video that I captured from a flip camera and um, the benefit of having a document camera and a flip camera is that the document camera is best at capturing video or even still pictures that happen right here at my desk um, or in the classroom. The flip camera is great for capturing video that happens outside of the classroom. So you can send it out with kids or take video yourself out on the playground or outside um, to help you teach this concept that you want to teach. So let's talk about how we, we handle that. Now when, I, when you plug in the flip camera um, it's going to want to launch its own software and it's called the flip share software and that software is um, stored on the camera so it is as you plug that into different computers um, the software will sort of install right off the camera regardless of what computer you're on which is kind of a nice feature that you pack the software along with you now I recommend that you use the flip share software to transfer a copy of the video from your camera to your computer. Once it's on your computer, then we'll, we'll import it into iMovie to use in our existing project. So um, let's go through that process. So I plugged in the flip camera and uh, the camera loads up and you can see there's a left hand column here that you can see it says camcorder 79. That means there's 79 video clips on, uh, on that camera. Now that camera uses a flash memory and all that means is that um, it's the same kind of memory that's on a flash that's on a flash drive or one of the thumb drives. Um, it's also the same kind of memory that uh, new iPods and iPhones use. So it, there's no moving parts. It's pretty high capacity, or it can be if you're willing to pay enough. Um, and when the camera stores the video on there, they're just files. It's not like it's on a, um, a mini DV tape. So it's a little bit easier to transfer it. Now every time you start and stop while you're videoing or pause, um, it's going to make a new file uh, on the camera. And that's what you're seeing here. Um, I had this camera at the school the other day and recorded uh, some students that are not fourth graders or second graders, but you can see um, these are all every time it start, started and stopped and a few other um, a few other folks have been using this camera and have captured different things. So. Um, let's say that I want to use um, a piece of this video. So down here, this video um, that um, was a video making cookies. We were doing a little math while making cookies. Um, this video is still on the camera. You can see it says unsaved. That means it has not been saved to my computer. If I want to watch this, I just click the play button and it will load up and I can watch this video. And I can hear it as well. I don't think you guys can hear it, but I can hear it as well. Um, stop that. Uh, this video is a minute and four seconds long and if I watch this and I decided I didn't want to transfer the whole thing, maybe I just wanted a portion of it, 
the little button here with the scissors on it will allow me to trim the video and let me capture just a portion of it or download just a portion of it to my computer. Uh, in this case I'm just going to get the whole thing so I'm going to select um, that image, I'm not that image, that video, and you can see the blue line around it um, and I'm going to have to pull this off to the side and resize it a bit because um, my, the resolution of my monitor is a little bit too small so you can't qu quite see I'm sorry I didn't notice that um, let's see if I can fix that no nope. uh, so along the bottom and I'm sorry you can't see it but along the bottom of this flip share software is a button that says um, save to computer and it's just right down here so sorry I can't you can't see me click on that um, but, but it's going to take whatever one I have selected. When I press that, it is going to um, um, start transferring that, a copy of that from the camera uh, to my computer. And again, it's a little bit off the screen here. It's right down on the bottom. Um, and it finished. And so automatically on my computer, the flip camera has created a folder um, for the month and the year that this video was taken and it shows me there's one video and I can see that that video is in there now so that video has been transferred to my computer so um, if I needed to uh, rename it so I knew what it was I can just type in a name there okay now I've got that video it was transferred from my computer I mean from the camera to my computer. Um, now once I have it on my computer then I can import it into iMovie and use it as part of a project and we'll do that in the next tutorial.